Hello everyone, I'm Habib Khirad Yar Zamani. I'm the gallery director at Long Beach City College. And uh, this is our fifth uh, exhibition of the year. Uh, the fifth one I've organized, uh, it's entitled Foam. Uh, so everything uh, in the exhibit uh, is either made out of foam or has quite a bit of foam in it. There are six artists uh, in the exhibit. Uh, here we have the work of Sky Burchard and also behind me uh, uh, the two pieces. This one is uh, completely made out of uh, uh, polystyrene or styrofoam as you would commonly know it uh, and uh, the form has been painted. You can see how much care has gone into um, putting together uh, the work. This other one uh, is actually a sword and I can't quite remember the title of the uh, video game that it uh, uh, references, uh, but those of you who play the video games will know immediately. Uh, here uh, we have the work of uh, Shirley Say, and uh, Shirley has probably uh, been doing this work longer than uh, most of the other artists in the exhibit. Uh, she graduated from Art Center. Uh, the piece on the wall here, Canal Street, uh, is, has some foam in it, polystyrene, and uh, uh, then a lot of plastic. But since it had never been shown in LA, I thought it would be nice to show it. Uh, and then on the floor, in the center of the gallery, uh, she has a piece uh, that is made of polyurethane uh, and veneer, the cherry veneer. Uh, then there's uh, the work of Jason Rognes. Uh, there's the one with the light inside it hanging from the tracks and the two drawings. He uses actually found uh, preformed uh, styrofoam material, usually out of packaging uh, boxes. And in the drawings, you get a sense of uh, how large the forms can actually become. They could resemble spaceships, if you will. Then uh, there's the work of um, Michael Barton Miller, two sculptures and uh, two works on paper. Uh, this work has been around for about eight years. It's not his current work, but it made sense to include it in this work because, uh, of course, uh, the, the title of the show and uh, the work has to fit the exhibition. His newer work didn't really fit. Uh, it wasn't about foam. Uh, and then there are two works uh, on the wall, uh, two-dimensional works. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty certain that those came after the sculptures were made. I have a work in my office, uh, one of the drawings prior to the sculpture, one of the drawings that the sculpture was based on. But these differ in that they become uh, more abstract studies uh, of the sculptures. Uh, then in this corner we have uh, the work of uh, Christoph Kuhn. And uh, Christoph uh, uses styrofoam uh, to oftentimes go towards practical ends. Uh, not just art, but uh, functional ends. And uh, uh, he tells me that it's possible to take styrofoam and depending on uh, what you coat it with, it can become a very, very uh, rigid surface. So you could actually build furniture out of it. Uh, and in the project room, uh, we have the work of Barry Zipperstein. Uh, Barry uh, uh, uses uh, foam core, and foam core uh, is then covered with uh, plaster. Uh, a lot of these uh, forms uh, she finds in thrift stores, like the frames uh, that you see. And uh, the photos uh, are actually 
uh, taken at her own uh, apartment. Uh, so the installations are real and, uh, and then photographed. Uh, it's not the result of uh, Photoshop, but it's an actual uh, architectural uh, insertion. The film exhibition uh, opened on uh, March 10th. It will continue until April 9th. Uh, the gallery hours uh, are Mondays and Thursdays, 9.30 to 4 p.m. Uh, and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 9.30 until 7 p.m. So please come see the most recent show and look forward to seeing you.